Hi guys, this is Kevin Richards here uh, for rpmvocalstudios.com uh, on the web for voice lessons worldwide and, and rock the stage here on YouTube. Um, my hands are here just on the piano because this is a direct uh, YouTube upload and I really don't want to take up any time editing and all that crap. So um, don't worry about lighting for my face and all that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about these three C's. This C here, this C here, and this C here. This is middle C, the middle of the keyboard here. Uh, this is the C above, and this is the C below. In Western or, or, or uh, North American vernacular, this is C4, this is C5, and that's the C3. Uh, in Europe, you might say there's like C0, C1, and C-1, and all that. But I'm going to refer to them as uh, in terms of middle C, high C, low C. Because most male singing happens somewhere between these two octaves. Most of what you hear of male singing in, you know, rock, pop, metal songs, stuff like that, even occurs pretty much right in here. Um, for females, we move it up. It's this F here and the F here, or F3 and F5. Um, the middle C here is kind of the middle of your voice, the middle of that range. So this is kind of the middle of your range if you're able to sing from C low to uh, C high. What I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about resonance. Um, chest voice, mixed voice, and head voice, and all those really bad terms that people get very confused on. But I'm going I'm to give you an idea of it as I look across the keyboard here. Um, low C, and your, and your voice is kind of in chunks in terms of groups and resonance, where you'll feel mostly stuff in what the other term chest voice, um, which is really throat resonance. You're going to feel that pretty much right up until about here. If you sing from the low C to the D A above here. Around here is where you're going to start to feel the sound more in the middle of your mouth. See, so this is your jawline and this is like your nose. Right here in the middle of your mouth here. So middle C should feel in the middle of your mouth. As you start to sing past the middle C, you're going to feel those notes rise above the tongue. And go towards the roof of your mouth. That is when you're mixing into high mix. And you're going towards head voice, which is the high C. But you are mixing out of like your throat into your mouth somewhere around here. Somewhere in these notes, towards middle C here, the G. You're not really in the lower part of your, or real dominant in your chest voice for very long. You start to mix into the mouth right here around the G sharp, the A or so. Uh, then you're into mixed voice or middle voice here. Uh, which I hate that term, but just kind of, you're, when I say middle voice, I mean, you're in the middle of your range if you can sing from this low C to the high C. Um, mouth resonance. Then you're going into sort of upper mouth resonance or towards the roof of your mouth, somewhere around here. And then you're going to feel most of the sound on the roof of your mouth from like the A, the A flat up. Uh, the A, A flat, the B flat, the B, the C, you're going to feel that. For women, it's the same thing. Uh, depending if you can go to the F or the G here, you're going to start to sing towards the middle of your mouth. Or it was, it's going to feel like it's in the middle of your mouth, right around here. Then you're going to start to mix towards the roof of your mouth up here, towards the A, the, the B here. When women go out of their chest voice and start going into head voice, they're really an upper mix here as they go towards their head voice notes or their head resonance notes. So this is how you can kind of, if you have a keyboard, um, you can kind of map out your voice in terms of where you should feel it. From here to about here, you should feel most of that under your chin or in your jawline. And as you sing past the A here, you should feel that more towards the middle of your mouth. And that'll stay there for a few notes until you get to about here. And you'll start feeling these notes, these notes here, uh, towards the roof of your mouth. And then as you sing up here, you'll start feeling more towards the roof of your mouth. And then as you get to the A and the B here, you're going to feel them really just under your nose. For females, it's the same thing as you sing towards... Um, this area here, the E, the F, you're going to feel that in the middle of your mouth. And as you sing here, towards the upper part of your mouth, towards the roof of your mouth, and as you sing up here, you should really should feel those on uh, the roof of your mouth, under your nose, or under your eyes, with the terms of as the mask. Same thing here for men and up here for women. Um, so this is how you can kind of relate your voice to a keyboard. So easy to remember, middle C should feel in the middle of your mouth or right across the roof of your, right across your tongue.
basically, across the surface of your tongue. It shouldn't feel up above your tongue, and it shouldn't feel way down in your throat. Middle C should feel in the middle of your mouth. Okay? So I hope this helps you out. Uh, see you later. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video wherever you like. Till next time, see ya.